Seven minutes now after the hour. Let's bring in Missouri GOP Senator Josh Hawley, member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, along with his wife, Erin. Uh, they both clerk for the Supreme Court Justice Roberts. Perfect guest for today. Uh, Senator, I'll start with you. From what you know about the president's attack plan when it comes to inflation, he is going to talk about the, uh, the uh, Vladimir Putin price hike, lowering energy bills. He wants to lower prescription drugs. Uh, he's going to tell us how he's going to help with housing costs and child care costs. What do you expect today? Uh, more of the same, Brian, and just a bunch of hot air, frankly. I mean, listen, he's responsible for this inflationary binge. He's the one who's given it to us. Gas prices have been going up for an entire year and a half now under him. There's a simple solution to this, by the way. Why don't we produce American energy? Allow American workers to get back to work drilling and pumping, get them out on the rigs. That's what would bring down energy costs, but he won't do that. Yeah. You know, uh, you two are a perfect guest to talk about what is going on in the news. And, you know, ever since it was leaked to Politico that it looks as if the Supreme Court's going to overturn Roe v. Wade, uh, you know, there have been protests outside the home over the weekend at somebody you both clerked for, uh, Chief Justice John Roberts. They were in front of his house. Uh, but you go back in the Wayback Machine to January of last year, and you had protesters in front of your house. Senator, let's start with you. This has got to be like deja vu all over again. Yeah, you know, and the hypocrisy from the left is really unbelievable. I mean, here we have the White House encouraging people to go out and to engage in, in what amounts to harassment, which, by the way, is illegal. Federal law says that you cannot picket or protest or harass justices with the point, with the purpose of trying to change their vote in a case. And that's exactly what they are doing. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, we've been on the receiving end of that. Uh, we won't know what it's like. Aaron was home alone with our baby girl when uh, a bunch of thugs uh, showed up at our house and screamed and yelled at her when she asked him to leave. They didn't. They came up to the house, pounded on the doors, and ultimately were charged with trespass. But here's the deal. You cannot give in to these people. You cannot give an inch. When they come at you, you got to stand your ground. And I hope that's what the justices will do. Well, and I know, Senator, that you filed a criminal complaint against the organizer of a group called Shut Down D.C. Aaron, I want to hear uh, more of your side of the story. What was that like for you so that we can get an idea of what these justices are going through as well? Absolutely. Well, there, there's sort of this biblical concept of in Getty, um, and your home is supposed to be a place of security and safety, a place where you can raise your children away from the dangers and travails of the world. Um, and what these protesters are doing are is they are assaulting that concept. They are coming uh, to people's homes at night uh, with bullhorns. Uh, they came up on our porch um, and screamed, "Come out! Come out!" Um, and that, frankly, is terrifying. To have yeah. young children in the home at the time would have been awful. So I'm uh, thankful uh, that our uh, young boys uh, were not home at the time, uh, but, but Abigail and I were. Um, and it's just really an assault uh, on the American family and on the institution mm. of the Supreme Court. And you talk about an assault. What about what the leaker did in putting this out that's been confirmed that this draft of a brief uh, that was written in February is now public in May? Uh, Alexander Hoff pressed Jen Psaki about this yesterday, and she was ambivalent. Listen. Does the president plan to condemn the leak of the Supreme Court draft opinion or the doxing of the justices now that we've seen violence unfold? Well, I would say that we have been clear, and the president's position has long been, that we should not see protest that takes the form of violence, that takes the form of vandalism, um, and that threatens anyone. We have not seen violence. Uh, or vandalism against Supreme Court justices. We have seen it at Catholic churches. That's unacceptable. The president does not support that. We have seen it at some conservative organizations that we don't support that. And we certainly call for, we know the passion, we understand the passion, we understand the concern. But what the president's position is, is that that should be peaceful. So what's, what's your reaction? You feel better about that, Aaron? Uh, no, uh, the violence uh, absolutely should be condemned, but so should protests at night at someone's home. Uh, they may well have children at home, and regardless, it is an attempt to pressure and harass right. uh, and change a Supreme Court opinion. And as Josh said, that, that's illegal, um, and it's also something uh, that just shouldn't happen. Sure. And, Senator, and, why does and, it take time to condemn a leaker? <laughs> the... 
Yeah, I, I don't know why it's so difficult to say that you shouldn't be trying to influence the deliberations of the court, but just look how the left is celebrating this leaker. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're acting like this person ought to get a, a medal, and they're clearly using it. They're weaponizing the leak mm -hmm. to try and undermine the institution of the court, the independence of the court, and that's wrong. I mean, it's totally wrong. By the way, Joe Biden, this is a day late and a dollar short, this condemnation of, of violence. This is a guy who for days has had nothing to say about these protests, firebombing of pro-life offices. He has been silent. He has encouraged it by saying that, oh, well, we understand people's anger. You know, they've got a right to protest. They don't have a right to do this stuff. Yeah. And, and Aaron, uh, before you guys go, um, would you just talk directly to the protesters? Because I think they think, OK, uh, you know what? Uh, that's where a senator lives. They don't realize sometimes you, sometimes you forget, you know, it's not just a guy who got elected from Missouri, but uh, this is a person with a family. And as you said, you were terrorized. So what would you say to the protesters who are showing up at these justices' houses? I would just say, you know, think about where you're coming. Uh, you're coming to someone's home, uh, which in our case included, I think she was a nine-week-old baby uh, at the time, a uh, mom home alone. Um, we have neighbors uh, with young children uh, who were also quite scared uh, by the events of that night. Uh, so to show up at night uh, with the intent to harass and intimidate and come up on someone's porch, um, you wouldn't want that at your home. Um, and it shouldn't take place at anyone's home uh, anywhere in America. Senator, well, as a, uh, both of y'all clerks, you can both answer this question. How did this leaker get this information out? We've interviewed some other clerks, and uh, I know you have to be top of your class to get one of these positions, so clearly whoever leaked this is, is brilliant, like the two of you are. How did this information get out? Were y'all allowed to take papers out? Do you think they had a picture of it on their cell phone? Well, it, it's possible, Ainsley, that, that they had a physical copy that they smuggled out of the court. You know, of course, we don't know who the leaker is, but the clerks, there's 36 clerks. Uh, the clerks would have access to this draft opinion, and unfortunately, it wouldn't be too hard. It would be a violation of the rules and their sure. ethical obligations, but it wouldn't be too hard to make a photocopy, stick it in a briefcase, and, and to smuggle it out, and that looks like what's happened here. Sandy Berger did it in his pants, remember? From the National Archives. I, I do remember. Yeah. 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 I, I don't think he got in big trouble. Uh, and listen, the Hollies uh, joining us today from the D.C. area. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Us.